almost forgot. So why Vegas? Well, fans will know that for seven years, Barry wowed the crowds there, the last two here in residence at the world-famous Paris Theatre. But in December, he decided it was time to be leaving Las Vegas, but not before chatting to me. Let the Cobra don't fall in love. All right. Yes, it's time for When Ali Met Barry. Coming up... Oh, Ali. It would work. Yeah. Barry serenades me. Plus, I skate on thin ice performing in Barry's latest project. And we put your questions and get some very revealing answers. And she's lifted up her shirt and... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Anyway, lots to pack in, so we better get our skates on. It's a miracle. So what's ice skating got to do with Barry and Vegas, I hear you ask? Well, his latest project is having his music set to ice dance in the stunning Holiday on Ice Tropicana, the Passion Tour, which hits the UK next week. And the Vegas link? Well, the idea for the project originated there in 1999. Now, Barry, you write the songs that make the whole world sing. Are you now writing songs that make the whole world ice skate? You know, I never really paid much attention to the sport of ice skating. And then I sang here in Mandalay Bay when they did a performance of some of my songs. It, it, it was just a thrill. I remember standing there and singing, and I couldn't actually sing the lyrics. I was doing, you know, at the Copa, yeah! <laughs> and they were flying by. <laughs> Vegas show was choreographed by our very own Dancing on Ice judge and gold medalist Robin Cousins. And its success encouraged him to dream of a larger touring production featuring Manilow music that the world could see. But why did Barry think it was a cool idea? Well, you know, Robin, he goes way past the hits. And I love it that he does this because, you know, everybody knows Copacabana and Mandy and I write the songs and Can't Smile Without You, and he uses them for the ice shows. But he finds those songs that people don't necessarily know. <laughs> 30 years worth of albums is not just the hits. Are you going to be putting on the skates and maybe doing some Manny toe loops, maybe? Me? Oh, please. I would break my ass on ice. Dancing on ass? I'm not sure that would catch on, Barry. But it's time to meet Robin, so let's leave the gambling, glam and glitz of Vegas, oh, and the warmth, to head to Utrecht, in the rather chilly Netherlands, where my Netherlands and my throat could get frostbite. But while it's cold outside, inside it's about to hot up, as Mr Robin Cousins is working with our many professional skaters. 14! Oh, my gosh! At least he's no cheap skate. Yes, Robin and his team are hard at work in the rehearsal facility, perfecting this incredibly complex pinwheel manoeuvre, which goes a lot faster when I'm not in it. And having made me comfortable and given his notes on the routine... I'm coming in. I need to come in and already be left, right. Robin took time out from the ice to chill out with me. This stage, it looks actually quite big to me, is it? Well, you would probably get two dancing and ice, ice rinks in a holiday and ice rink, but it would take four holiday and ice rinks to fill an Olympic ice stadium. Really? Yeah, so this is actually quite tight. For some of those kids who are coming away from competitions, the barriers and the fact that there isn't a barrier yeah. comes up on them very quickly. So the tough part is getting 40 people to work very tightly and very closely at great speed in a space this size. With rehearsals proceeding satisfactorily, in my opinion, Eat your heart out, Louis Spence. I wanted to talk to Robin about the giant video screen designed to complement what the skaters are doing. I just think we're missing a 30-foot high dancing silhouette of Robin Cousins. Oh, hang on a minute. Here I am. Is that Larger you? Larger than life. I <laughs> love it. You look great, you've got some good hip action going on there. Going on there, we're all right. I do a duet with the boy who's on the ice in the mambo swing. That's so amazing. we needed something. So if I figured, you know, if you can't get anybody else, do it yourself. <laughs> That's so clever. Talking of clever, have you ever wondered what it's like to do one of those high speed spins? Well, Robin kindly agreed to show us. Check this out. 
if I was doing it, it would be puking on ice. Oh, no, the hair! And from Robin adjusting his hair to costume adjustments behind the scenes. Hold the hoop <laughs> underneath. Costumes flamboyant enough, even for Barry. It's time to meet the Boom Boom Girls. This is a bit of an idea between Edwin Peakney, who was the costume designer, and myself. And Edwin designed this for the girl to look like she's obviously carrying her basket of fruit on the head. And it, within the choreography, there's a moment where they go, boom, 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 Ooh. and music. Give us a boom. The Boom Boom Girls. Oh, boom. look at the boom. And a bit of a shimmy. <laughs> right, shall we run the number? I love it. Let's do Let's the number. Let's go. Copa. Go, 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 go. Music and passion were always... Robin's passion for Barry's music is obvious. But as Barry said, it isn't just the classics that Robin is using. He's given me carte blanche about what I wanted to do. We're using material in, in this show that is going to be brand new Manilo music to quite a few, even the Fanilos. I've taken two tracks from an unproduced Broadway production called Harmony, which we are using for a duet and also for a finale, um, which I found out after the fact are two of his favourite songs. So we've looked at the music, the skating and the costumes. But what happens when you put them all together with um, me in the middle? <laughs> Hit it, baby! It looks something like this, with apologies to Robin, Barry and the skaters. About part two, we find out why Barry didn't cash in on early fame. After all of those hits, and I had $11,000 in the bank, I had to start all over again. We put your questions to Barry. Will you sign me so I can get it tattooed? You know, I got a very long name. <laughs> and of course, there's a small matter of my big finish. Copa! Don't fall in love. Yes, fall in love. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, Thank amazing. you. Thank you very much. Well, for more details um, of our two-part special with Barry Manilow and information about a holiday on ice tour,